expulsion of four leading swimmers by the Australian Swimming Union shocks the sporting world. But more particularly, the severity of the 10-year suspension given to Dawn Fraser causes hostile comment in all sections of the community. Undoubtedly the country's greatest ever woman athlete, Dawn has also been one of the most controversial. As she has done at previous games, Dawn marched in the Tokyo Parade, but this time against orders. Also against orders, she wore her own swimsuit, claiming that the team costume did not fit. The march obviously didn't affect her swimming, as she became the first person, man or woman, ever to win the same title at three successive Olympics. Like most Australians, Dawn is upset by the drastic action which will finish her swimming career. In an exclusive statement to Sydney radio station 2UE, she said, But uh, I'm, I'm not going to sit down and let people slander my name right throughout the world. And here's what the man and woman in the street think of it. Madam, what are your thoughts on the penalties that have been imposed on the four Olympic girl swimmers? Well, I think the girls should have a chance to speak for themselves. They seem to be convicted of something that doesn't really come out in the paper. But I think it's a terrible thing because they've made no real charge against them. And I just thought it was rather severe given her 10 years. She's done so much for the country. And it's a bit stupid to ban them for such a long length of time. Do you think that Dawn Fraser has been unjustly uh, penalised? After all, Dawn Fraser is known all over the world for her great talent in swimming. And I think that this should be overlooked. I think the girls ought to... Uh, well, I'm not sure the AAU, but find out for themselves just what's going on and see if there can be something done to, to make it a little more fair for not only the Australian public, but also for themselves. I think in regards to Dawn Fraser, I think they're a bit over the fence. Discipline is vital to the progress and conduct of all sports, but controlling authorities must be sure that such discipline is fair and just.